you can tell it's nighttime and still out here working on stuff. I'm waking up around 3.30 in the morning in the morning to drop off this old trailer and uh, meet my brother halfway. Washed her up, cleaned her up, got her all ready to go. Kind of, I washed the truck a little bit too. Just, I like clean stuff when, uh, nice and clean for the adventure ahead. And uh, got a four hour drive ahead of us. Um, picking up Sam. He's gonna be joining us on this trip and uh, go pick up my new trailer. So I'm excited. So this is the, the night before. Not gonna see this trailer anymore. She's done me good. And uh, off to my brother to keep on working it. And uh, yeah, that's about it. So I'm just kind of cleaning things up and early morning start tomorrow. So I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. The time has come. Let's go get my new trailer. Good morning. The time has come. It is 3.32 in the morning and 37 degrees outside. You're in lovely Northern California. <laughs> so I'm on my way right now. Well, not yet. I'm still sitting at home. I'm gonna go pick up Sam. He's joining along with me to go pick up the new trailer. And I'm gonna go meet up with my brother. Halfway point between here in Idaho is Winnemucca, Nevada, and I'll be meeting my brother there so he can buy my old gooseneck trailer off of me, and I'll be picking up my gooseneck trailer here momentarily. So a little bit of details on it. So I ordered it late November, early December, if I remember right, and it's a 30 foot, uh, two 16,000 pound axle, hydraulic dovetail from Diamond C and I got most of the knickknacks I wanted you know hydraulic dovetail the upgraded wheels and tires the you know the axles I got like the deck lights for it and I got the hydraulic jacks for the trailer and I upgraded the ball or the the neck to the actual 30,000 pound uh, the square coupler design and kind of it I'm gonna do a few add-ons myself possibly I did order a chain rack for it because I completely forgot to do that when I first got the trailer and I forgot to add in I didn't add the rough oak decking so it has pine on there I'll say how long that lasts me and uh, most likely I'll just replace the outers you know maybe like four foot and beyond uh, where all the tracks go and stuff like that on the deck when the pine gets a little bit mangled up and uh, I might add another box on it. All the things I'm thinking about after the thought, you know, I thought I thought of everything, but of course I forgot a few things, but that's kind of about it. Um, again, it's, now it's 3.34 in the morning. Uh, I have like two hours of sleep on me right now. I passed out around one o'clock this morning because I was busy. Uh, getting all prepped up and everything for this morning finally fell asleep right around one so that's it's gonna kind of be hard on me today I'm kind of feeling it already we'll see how it works out today <laughs> but for the most part we are on the road and I'm gonna go pick up Sam right now so uh, he's joining along this little adventure and I got it's like a well spatter on my GoPro. <laughs> um, yeah, we'll kind of see what the day takes us. Go get some burnt fast. Enjoy this little adventure. So, hopefully, you guys can join along, enjoy yourself, and uh, hopefully, you like what you see. And uh, if, especially if you're thinking about buying a trailer yourself, definitely go through all the details and talk to my dealer and uh, ask him a bunch of questions and see what he's got to say for us. Awesome guy. Um, he, he's. He knows his stuff and he is a great guy to be do to be doing business with. So that's kind of it. We're start scooping up along the way. Let's get the day started. He just texted me. 
Hey, calm your shitter hole. Sam Andrews said okay. Gate is locked just for you still. Circle the house park at back door. Would okay. you like to reply? No. Okay. I forgot what the damn gate code was. <laughs> Nothing. I'm gonna go buy some stuff. I'm not a new cab. <laughs> I gonna fit. Yeah, I'm gonna fit. Just barely. All right, we're up in Truckee. Had some breakfast. I'm at a good old place I've been going for like 13 years. And uh, getting set up, the truck's warming up. It's already cooler than hell outside. It's 17 degrees apparently. It's pretty cold. <laughs> 8,000 feet ish elevation up here in Truckee. And uh, we got the set up here. She's warming up. Do a little roundabout. I don't know what the hell Sam's doing in there. I'm videotaping everything. What was wrong with this guy? What are you doing? Can I, can I help you, sir? Oh, I'm wrong. My name is Chico. <laughs> 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 My name is... <laughs> I gotta cut that all out now. <laughs> Alright, it's colder than heck. We're gonna get going. We got a long drive ahead of us. Freaking start robbing. He's already reviewing what the... Oh. oh what the can, I, can I help you, sir? Oh, I'm My name is Chico. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what the hell's wrong with us. I'm not dead. <laughs> I'll leave half the sh everything damn blue for that I yeah. do. Oh well, it's fine. <laughs> did you that up? Yes, I did. <laughs> Pup dog staying warm. He's freezing his ass off. Oh. Mm. Getting diesel. $2.99 a gallon. Nearly 75 cents cheaper than California. And this, uh, that's frozen. I ain't cleaning the window, apparently. <laughs> and truck was cleaned a moment ago, and now she's, uh, clean as she leave dirty. Still looking good. All right, all right. New trailer is about three miles that way. This happened to my brother, apparently. I need to go uh, see what's going on on his side. Yeah, it's definitely snowing. It's like 30 degrees. It's a little smidgen bit chilly. My brother thinks he busted his wheel on his truck. Slid off on the road or something like that. 
we'll see here shortly. Warren! Poopy butt. I guess I could have just followed his tracks. Come on, get up in there. Good boy. So how bad did he up? <laughs> just some dirt in the beam. Uh, Thank you. This guy. So that's my brother. <laughs> and uh, slid off on the highway. I'll post the photos when he sends them to me. <laughs> slid on a patch of ice and fell off the dang road. I'm over here drifting in my truck with a trailer on there. And this guy goes. <laughs> it's fun. We got fun. I guess this four wheel drive works. It's about the bulk I of the got story. It out. <laughs> yeah, that's a little bit of a benefit to the story, I guess. He got out. I didn't have to go save him. I don't have to go tow his truck home and then come back. <laughs> I was always saying, like, dude, our we, luck. We got great. a surplus of trailers now. Yeah. All right, he's all fixed up. We're headed back to the trailer store. We'll pump a bit. Uh, we'll see you over there in a minute. All right, I just paid for my trailer. I'm poor all over again. No, oh, I've never really. Yeah, I'm just poor. I got my brother out there. He's all fixed up, ready to go. And uh, go hook some stuff up, take a look at them. See what we got going here. Trailer I'm going to send my brother. My trailer. Oh, that's beef. This is cool, man. That's the coolest part. That's all I thought this for. Right there, some danglers. Extendo. Extendo hell lateral. Call this guy. <laughs> but don't bullshit too much with him. He's just here for sales. <laughs> yeah. Alright, weight capacity is now exceeded. Alright, all right, go back up. Forward. Forward. Okay. How's it going? Good. <laughs> so far, so good. That's half the deal. So what are we looking at today, man? We're looking at F-Max 216, 30 foot, 12 foot hydraulic dovetail. So you got two 16,000 pound axles. You're talking about 16 ply tires, standard hutch suspension, Valcrum caps. You're talking about a 275 millimeter bolt pattern on the 16,000 pound axles. The studs themselves, they're a 22 millimeter stud. You're gonna be, that's just about seven eighths of an inch. So you're gonna have some, you got some beef under this thing, that's for sure. And when you're talking about uh, overall, you're gonna get a frame enhancements, 30,000 pound coupler. You got the adjustable coupler, so it's ready to be rock and roll. Sam's hooking it up, which is pointless, we think. You got your load lights in the back there. You saw a picture of that later. We're, uh, we're running just hydraulic jacks, standard pine deck. We're looking at the uh, blackwood rubber, traction coming up the rear you know and this thing's uh this thing's pretty stout and ready to work we're payload capacity right around 22,000 pounds uh what's listed on it anyways and if you're hunting for something a little bit ready to work this is the shortest length this trailer is available in all the way up to a 40 foot maybe 44 depending on what you're looking at and uh you know if you're comparing it to something real quick shit we got an f max 212 right here with the max ramps Max ramps, this thing, we had many snowmageddon today, so it's a little bit cold out. But if you look at that wheel right there and you look at the bolt pattern on that, that's an eight on six and a half. Now this one here, this trailer is a two 12,000 pound axle, and this is gonna come standard with 10 ply. So the customer that ordered this trailer did the 17 and a half, like what you got on yours. And then they also had to upgrade to the hutch suspension. So if you're looking in between like an F-Max 216 and an F-Max 212, that trailer right there and the 216 is going to come with a lot of standard equipment that you're not upgrading. So if you're just looking at that base MSRP price, 
you got to include the 17 and a half inch tires and you also got to include the hutch suspension i want some fancy winch box but right this, that's pretty basic but if you had between the two you know look at the height of this thing your clearance on the ground on this quite a bit lower it's pretty easy to work super light easy They actually got heavy springs on there, not a bunch of little turd springs. You actually have four springs in that thing. Yeah, two for the pickup yep. and two for the fallback. Okay, so you got two right here and you got two inside of each one on that. These are definitely like the best ramps going. Looks like even if you have, you know, metal tracks, you're not going to run over the entire spring. You got something to kick you up. Yeah. <laughs> Kicking it up with his foot. No. Oh, slip oh. <laughs> it's icy. He's on the wrong side of things. Yeah, there's a handle right there, man. If it wasn't icy, I would have just thrown it. Yeah, I actually push it down. Yeah, push it down. Well, I know uh, Diamond C, they just came out with these recently, so you don't need no straps or anything. High tech pin to keep it in. Yeah, no more rattling ramps, no more ratchet straps that get, starts getting cut up on the corner. It's a one time thing. Look at that. It doesn't rattle whatsoever. Did you show the frame difference on this one versus yours? I did not. Take a look. I mean, the frame, that's, that's a big chunk of what you're paying for as far as the money goes. So on this 216, here's the frame side. No, no. That's a 212. Or, yeah, 212. 212. Yeah, this is the 30K frame. <laughs> so there's your frame. I don't even know the measurement difference, but you can, it's visibly much larger of yeah. a frame. It is, yeah. Where are you doing, man? your box house and all your components. You plug into a 110 on that side. We didn't option for any boxes on the other side. But we did do our uh, load lights, which will work if they're not even hooked up to the truck. Just a quick switch right there. They are bright. They're bright at night, that's for sure. And in the toolbox here, if you look, I don't know if I don't know if it'll sit, but you actually got a chain rack on the inside down here. So again. Oh, look at that. Yep. Never noticed that. That's a cool bonus. Yeah, that's looks nice like they moved a lot of the hydraulic lines up and out of the way. You can put a lot of stuff in there without smacking the hydraulic lines. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. you got tons of room. Here, I called them to order it. It's not here yet. You forgot yours too. Don't judge me. They gave me one though. <laughs> Aren't you special? Yeah. Special. Special Ed. Special Ed. <laughs> I know Ed. I know Ed. <laughs> yeah, definitely get that. A little toy box up there for your strap-ons. Yeah. Straps. Uh, all right. All right. <laughs> hey, give us a little uh, <laughs> down low on this guy. So it's a new, new U-Haul drop axle, axle design. That's I called it that. Yeah, you gotta give me the credit. <laughs> yeah, no. He, he did. <laughs> I'm just reviewing. Nothing was rolling. This is what happens when nobody tells you what happened. Huh, yeah. So you know what? This I is can tell you what happened. I had a bump. 56 mile an hour. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we're all switched up. I got my trailer connected. My brother got his trailer connected. Now, now it is officially his. He gave me money. <laughs> and uh, he's going to have to do a little bit of work here. He's thinking about, he just has his fifth wheel, bought this stuff. Uh, so it attaches to his fifth wheel for his motorhome. And uh, you can get a gooseneck ball for this plate. It's, uh, the trailer's got that North Carolina <laughs> lean to it. If you can tell by any chance. It's custom. Custom. <laughs> Completely custom. Well, that's about it. I got my new trailer, my dream trailer pretty much right here. Hey, what's wrong with you? You all right there? <laughs> you okay? What? Go, go on. <laughs> so, you got the trailer connecting and everything, and uh, we're gonna be, be putting the first load on the trailer. We're gonna see how it does, and I'll let you guys know here in a second. We're gonna tow all this all the way back to California, back to Sam's house. Uh, when we get it loaded, I'll show you guys what it is. All right, we just got the new piece of equipment loaded. Uh, I don't know what my GVWR is at right now. Uh, I'll be sure to post it down below. But uh, tell me, guys, what what do you think this weighs? Uh, we got Sam's. Yeah. So uh, we'll check and see. Make sure I don't tip the load. Hopefully, I stay within my weight class and everything. I do have a class A. Just so you guys know, don't be all bickering about it. So I think I'm within my load limits. I might be out of it. We'll see. I got to ask the professional over here uh, what's going on. Uh, but yeah, we'll see how the truck does with this extra weight going up the grades. Make sure, you know, nothing breaks and all that good stuff. And yeah, we'll see how the trailer adds. Hopefully the thing's still there when we get back home. That'd be nice. It's Saturday. You got it, Sam? Yeah. 
I haven't even used my trailer yet, and this guy's using it before I do. <laughs> Charging his butt all the way back home. Hang on, you might capture something. I do, I don't know. All right, we're taking our first stop here. He's okay. saying the same stuff. Hey! What? Are you YouTubing also? Yes, a little bit. Not even more. Really? <laughs> this one's a bit hot. Hot or you can feel that? Starts getting toasty when... Yeah, that's... This one's on, this one gets pretty hot too. Left side's way hotter. So Charles did this side, George did the other side. <laughs> <laughs> the other side is stone cold. Really? Yeah. All right, for anybody that doesn't know Tabit. Hi, buddy. I've been on the channel before. He started his own channel. Yeah. Switch it, Diamond Operator. <laughs> what now? The channel name. It's your diamond Operator. I'm an operator. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. And I'll put it in the link down there. Triangle. So this is, is uh, obviously a Dynasty 2021 40K, 216K axles. Anybody that doesn't understand that, it's simple. You can Math. pro rate traders. Traders. Because <laughs> pro rate trailers up to 25%. So that is based on the truck carrying some of the load. But yep. 216,000 pound axles. So by that, it'll be 32 plus. Pretty much. Hydraulic drum brakes. No, Plus just electric. electric drums. What? I think they're electric. Oh, never mind. I'm an idiot. Don't listen to me. Yeah, you are. Electric over hydraulic. <laughs> My bad. You don't even know his own unit. Nope, it's I just buy shit. <laughs> yeah. It's the same trailer as mine, except for 40K. It's got the bigger frame, with bigger axles. Everything else, the neck, the same, the same. The tail's the same. 30 foot, everything same. You didn't get oak, but. My bad. It's like. My trailer, but better. Yeah, man. Yeah, thank you. <laughs> we have to see what this unit weighs. Truck, truck trailer, too fat. Stop cussing. Okay. We know the truck <laughs> weighs 8,500 pounds because what's the name Garrett did his truck the other day. So with us in here in cargo and stuff, let's say the truck weighs 9,000. So we shall see what this trailer weighs. It's very close to mine. Oh, you got to get that hit in the button or else you got to stick. You got to stick? No. Nope. Is this oh. your first round? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> dude, dude. <laughs> you had to <laughs> Little kid truck couldn't reach a call sign. Hey, uh, your truck number? 01. Are you sure it's just 01? Yep. Do you even have a number? Just a Dodge. <laughs> okay, you guys are all set. You can come on in. Thank you. <laughs> My name is, what's the number? Moron. <laughs> Moron. Come again. Uh, <laughs> say we're nine truck okay. plus that, 17,000. Close. We are a total of 18,240. No, it's not how bad. No. Freaking truck's almost perfectly balanced. <laughs> If I take that cooler out of the back, it'll be 50 50. No kidding. Let's see here. So people can actually be like, all right, oh, this here. is legit. Yeah, this is a literal cat scale. This yeah. My mom and pop scale. This isn't uh, go to the gravel yard like somebody I know. Uh, <laughs> me. Yeah, good practice. So, steers, that's your fronts. 5,400 pounds. Not bad. Dang, dude, there's only. What the heck? 54 <laughs> 54. <laughs> that's pretty good. Dang. I don't think my race car's balanced that I well. think if you were sitting in here, it might have been perfect. Probably. So technically, the truck can hang like another 3,000 pounds of tongue weight. Yep. So you have to kind of balance the loads more or less on the trailer-ish. Okay. Ish, but to be technical. But yeah. we, we don't care about that. Nah. Just kidding. Mob it. <laughs> trailer axles. Dang. So the trailer's sitting at 7,300 pounds. That's louder than we thought it was. On the axles of the trailer. Yeah. I don't know that. 9,000 pounds. Shit, this thing's... It's 9,000 pounds each. Yo, you got the heavier frame. I do. Wow. Yeah. I was like, dang. I don't know if that adds too much weight, but I'd say mine's in the eights and yours is right at the nine. Not too shabby. Not bad. Not bad. At least you guys know. Yeah. So, just basically 18,000 pounds. You got extra tools and bed, so... Yeah, I got a few knickknacks and then... I mean, there's a lot of uh, 
firepower in here too. Yeah, 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 yeah of course. Farts power. Just don't. <laughs> <laughs> Got all the essentials. All right, you got your gun, you got your drone, you got your pillow. Make sure you didn't forget anything. You got your glasses, you got your glasses, you got your keys, your wallet, other camera, receipts, beer bottles. Keep them out been... on the road. Okay, perfect. <laughs> That's where they belong. <laughs> get recycle, right? <laughs> Those lights are very bright. Those are even with glasses on, they still exceptionally kinda... bright. I mean, look at that, dude. You don't look at them straight on. The camera that. actually does justice for once because it's just brighter than heck. Four hundred miles. Yeah, we still got eyes on the trailer. On Heck of a trailer, dude. Congrats. Thank you very much. We'll see you it's on the been, next one. Heck yeah. What we, how many miles we clocked today? Seven? 730, something like that. Oh. Yeah. It's been a long day. It's most definitely been a long day. 430 till 730. Yeah, we're, we're done. We're, we're wrapping it up. It's been a long haul. <laughs> Had a lot of fun, a lot of seat time. My truck's almost at 10,000 miles now. So. <laughs> Don't forget to give me a shout out. Oh yeah, this is. <laughs> yeah, a, right. If you guys don't know V Belt and Son, you're just an idiot. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just to right. call it simple, simple. If you know me, you're an idiot. If you know me before him, there's something wrong with you. Well, I mean, there's something wrong with me, anyways. But we're all the same. We're all screwed up in one way or another. Yep. All right, I'm for the gate. All right, cool. I'm going home. <laughs> He's going to bed. We're done for the day. Peace out. Go all right, so I'm totally pulling a sand move right now. I'm just kind of doing a recap. It's actually a. Uh, 3.32 in the morning. I still haven't gone to bed. I'm wrapping up this video right now as we speak uh, so I can get it posted because I've uh, fallen really far behind on a lot of my videos. I just want to thank you to Diamond C for making such an incredible trailer. I really can't wait to start hauling heavy with it and uh, kind of start putting it really through the test. And especially David at the trailer store in Nevada, absolutely the, absolutely the coolest guy I've met for a dealer, salesman, I mean, just an honest, pretty much a dang friend. You know, you can get along with them so well. But I mean, especially, of course, if you're like-minded, we get along just fine. We have a lot we can discuss about. We just sat down in his office and talked it up. It wasn't just a business deal, walk in the door and walk out with your trailer. It was a, it was an entire experience, pretty much. We went we went out, we had lunch together. There was a little bit of miscommun miscommunication where his wife also bought sandwiches and stuff and brought them to the store after we just ate. Uh, so we... We had a little bit of a, we took some of those home with us. We had some sandwiches on the road on the way back. But uh, if you guys are anywhere near him, he is located in Winnemucca, Nevada. The trailer store is what it's called. Call him. He is an amazing person and he will do anything he possibly can to help you out. Definitely a one of a kind kind of a guy. Again, thank you, Sam, for coming out with me. It was, we always have a heck of a blast together hanging out. It was awesome seeing my brother and, uh, that's kind of it. I just want to kind of wrap that up and definitely say thank you to David at the trailer store. Um, what he does is more than incredible. And I thank him also for, you know, kind of doing a rundown on the trailer, showing you the differences. So hopefully that answers any questions that you guys might have down the road when you guys are shopping for a trailer and uh, kind of go from there. If you have any other questions, comment down below on this video and or call the phone number that you saw on the trailer. I'll be sure to post it below right here right now so you can give him a phone call and hopefully you can give him your business and keep on going from there. I know a lot of the Diamond C's and trailers in general these days, it's hard to stock them, hard to you know get them in general. They have a long lead time. I was lucky enough, I only waited about two, two and a half months for mine, so I'm definitely thankful for that. I just I put my order in at just the nick of time before the rest of his orders went out, so it worked on my behalf quite well. Um, it's late. I'm extremely tired. I've been up for more than 24 hours now. So I'm just going to wrap this up, call it good, and hopefully you guys uh, watch this, see this, enjoy it, and uh, make sure to check out V Belt and Son's page at the same time, and uh, like and subscribe to his page, and uh, vice versa. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Please like, share, subscribe, send out the information. Hope you enjoy the video. Have a good one.